Welcome to this weekly update. I'm Jessica Amir, a market analyst at Bell Direct. Well, just like the residential property market moves in waves of growth and cooldowns, so too is the share market. 16 trading days ago, the Aussie share market was at a record all-time high. Since that time, we've swung over 20% lower, and that means we're now in what's called a bear market, as most investors have been selling more than buying, pushing prices lower as they're concerned. Travel bans will squeeze company earnings and also slow global growth, particularly as travel and tourism makes up 10-15% to 15 of world GDP. But the important thing to remember is as you can see from the chart, markets always recover over the long term. The big advantage of the dip is we can buy more stock at cheaper prices. And as for us in Australia, we've had a cracking 27 years of economic growth. It looks like that could continue if corona is contained by May, as the estimates suggest. But this quarter, GDP will be tested. The question that we're being asked is, with markets offering up once in a decade, buying opportunities is now the time to buy. Well, we can't pick the bottom, but what we can say is company directors have been buying into stocks and that's a good sign as people on the inside are taking advantage of cheaper prices. We saw this yesterday, in fact, with Wally Parsons' WOR. And secondly, in times like these, we generally see the big end of town pounce on cheaper prices too, making takeover offers on companies that have strong longer term growth prospects, low debt and repeatable cash flows. As their shares are on sale, they look pretty attractive. And that's why in the GFC, about 30% of the ASX 100 companies were taken over. And recently we saw the healthcare company Helios, HLS, made an offer, but it hasn't yet responded to that. City has highlighted many companies with low debt to equity and high free cash flows to watch, including A2 Milk, Asalio, which is the business behind sorbent toilet paper and those handy paper towels, Amcor, AMC, which is the global packaging business, jewellery company, Levisa, LOV, and and Woolly Parsons, WOR, as well as the pharmacy business Sigma Healthcare SIG. City backs all of these companies as a buy except SIG. So, what's ahead? Well, City says COVID 19, the outbreak could result in further earnings downgrades for this financial year and next. We'll know more over the next two months. But those quality companies with surplus cash and strong earnings should ride out this wave, particularly as the RBA's rate cuts will force investors back into the market for in the search for yield, particularly in growth stocks in the food and beverage tech consumer services, diversified financials and healthcare sectors. That's also why City is expecting the market to recover and gain about 15% from Thursday's close, rising to about 6,100 points by New Year's Eve. So for me, instead of throwing a chunk of money at those defensive stocks that I like, I'm instead getting ready to average out my buys over a period of time. I'm also screening heavily for companies with repeatable cash flows, quality earnings, predictable earnings streams, and I'm also looking at those companies that have got good dividend growth as well. Over the five trading days from Friday to Thursday, the market lost 17%. So this week, I'd like to focus on the biggest drag, the energy sector, which has lost 29%. What's interesting to note is Morningstar says, despite the standoff between OPEC and Russia, which pushed prices into a tailspin, fundamentals for the Australian producers remain intact. Morningstar likes Woodside Petroleum, WPL and Santos STO in the sector. City's top pick in the energy field is the energy chemical resources engineering firm Wally Parsons as their cost savings are more than expected along with a first half revenue after the company bought Jacobs Engineering ECR about 10 months ago. Wally also doesn't expect a financial corona hit and says there's only expected to be effects on workforce travel. And on the smaller end of town, uh, Senex Energy SXY was upgraded by JP Morgan and City. It's got a 39 cent price target. So all in all, as volatility is now at its highest level since the GFC, 
and we have these once in a decade buying opportunities. The hunt for quality companies is on, looking for those with strong cash flows, low debt, remembering defensive and growth stocks are likely to continue to outperform. So stick to your investment guns. Note that selling at lower prices could also lock in or crystallize a loss and you could potentially miss out on the bounce back or recovery as well. Whereas buying at significantly cheaper prices than say three weeks ago can have a huge impact on your investment over the next five to ten years. And lastly, consider Warren Buffett's message from a few weeks ago. You know, buy or sell your business based on, on, uh, on today's headlines. And uh, if it gives you a chance to buy something that you like, and you can buy it even cheaper, then it's your good luck, basically. Well, thanks for watching, and please send us your questions, comments, or let us know what you want to hear in our daily and weekly updates.